Welcome you to the 2020 Uari Charter Academy High School graduation. Class of 2020, we are here for you. Let's just start by saying we know that this year is like no other, but that's okay because you are a class like no other. You are strong, you are resilient, and you are persistent, and you have made it to the end of not only this crazy year, but your high school graduation. This ending is also a beginning, and I'm confident in each one of you that as you leave us here at UCA, you are prepared to go out and make our world better than you found it. We need that right now. We need you to be strong. We need you to be compassionate. We need you to be respectful of everyone. We need you to keep representing UCA like the leaders that you are. As we celebrate you today, please know that we have worked to make this ceremony as special and also as normal as possible as we could given our current situation. You deserve our best, and we hope you enjoy this celebration of you. At this time, we will hear from our salutatorian, Garrett McCullum, and our valedictorian, Hope Davis. Hello there to all 10 of you in the audience. Uh, it's really an honor and my pleasure to speak in front of such a fine technological spectacle that is this camera. Um, you know, I had always imagined the nerves that I'd have to speak in front of such a large crowd but I have to say I'm only a little nervous now for the way uh, Mr. Wheat and Mr. Green are glaring at me back there. <laughs> oh man, those guys are the goat, let me tell you. You underclassmen are lucky, for sure. You know, this year ended a whole lot differently than it began. Thinking back to August of 2019, we were swept away with the thoughts of what classes we needed to graduate or preparing for our senior season of our sports or athletics, or simply put praying and praying that the school year would be over. We had absolutely no idea of how fast it could all be gone. And then the unthinkable happened. Senior trips were canceled, activities postponed, athletics suspended, school closed, and life as we knew it was completely flipped upside down. This uncharted territory brought about great change for our lives and our nation as a whole, and we seniors were left stranded. As I've had tons, and I mean tons, of time at home alone to think, in desperate need of a haircut, I, my mind has been filled with positive outcomes that we could bring out of this situation. We should all look to move forward in life knowing how quickly and easily we can lose everything. Life is short, and each and every one of us are blessed in so many different ways. So we need to take the time to understand and appreciate all that we have been given. Never take for granted that time spent in the classroom with your awesome teachers and your brilliant classmates, 
or that time spent enjoying dinner with your loved ones, or the time spent giving back to the community in some way, shape, or form. These are the most rewarding treasures one can have, and we have learned how much value we place in such small things in this recent period of change. As we all embark on this great fork in the road where we all proceed along our own separate journey, never forget where you came from and who all were there to help you along the way. Always maintain your appreciation for those who challenge you and push you to exceed your own limits as they were always supporting you and striving for greatness. Personally, I'd like to expend a great deal of gratitude to all of the faculty and staff at URA Charter as you have made my high school experience absolutely perfect. I was welcomed in with open arms and I cannot express my appreciation in words. So, to the unique and extraordinary class of 2020, I give you one goal. Be a light in someone else's life. The great Thomas Rhett said, in a world full of hate, be a light. You do not have to cure cancer or drive a fancy car to be successful, but instead find success in improving the lives of those around you. In doing so, your mark will be felt and multiplied throughout the lives of each and every person you encounter. I congratulate each and every one of you and cannot wait to see where you all go from this point. Achieve your dreams and never take for granted the blessings you are given along the way. And never forget that we all make up the most awesome and best looking class in the history of URA Charter Academy graduating classes. Thank you all for your time and may God bless you all as you go about life. Greetings class of 2020. I want to start with a few thank yous. First to the administration for working tirelessly over the last few months to plan the best graduation within the circumstances. They have worked diligently for the past four years to make everything run as smoothly as possible. I'd also like to say thank you to the teachers who have stood by our side. They have taught us many things throughout the past years and even some life lessons as well. Lastly, I want to thank my family in attendance who have supported me for the past 18 years. They have made many sacrifices for me to be able to work toward my dreams and goals. I am so thankful to have such a supportive family and I'm beyond blessed. Now, I stand before you as Uari Charter Academy, Class of 2020, Valley Victorian. When I found out my junior year that I was a potential candidate for Valley Victorian, it was all that I worked towards. I learned many things striving for this goal, such as time management, good note-taking skills, and other applications I can take into adulthood. On the other hand, I spent countless hours studying, writing flashcards, stressing out over tests, and worried about my grades. Although over the past few weeks I have questioned my intentions, I have thought endlessly about what I wanted to present in this speech, and after much deliberation, I'm going to tell the truth about how I feel. One of my favorite quotes can summarize this. It's from a character in The Office, one of my favorite shows. I wish there was a way to know you were in the good old days before you've actually left them. I spent so much of my time striving to be valedictorian that I feel like I missed out on a lot of memories from my high school experience. I sacrificed friendships and countless opportunities that could have made a lasting impact on my life. Instead, most of my memories of high school are clouded with worry about whether I would make an A in the class or not. Over all of this self-reflection, I have found a few points I would like to give to the class of 2020. One of the first few things I realized is my self-worth is more than just a title in front of my name. Do not get me wrong, I am proud of my accomplishments and being valedictorian, but it's not all that I am. I believe that as individuals, we are always striving to have a title over us and continually trying to be the best at something, but it ends up never being enough. It becomes an unbroken cycle that seems to never stop repeating itself. We have to realize that we are enough. Secondly, I realize I've been so afraid of feeling like a failure that I actually never got to learn from my mistakes. Being so afraid to make a mistake and having the feeling of failure loom over oneself can let individuals miss out on the chance of succeeding. For example, without all of Walt Disney's failures before making the iconic Disney company that we all know, we would not have the classic movies to enjoy. Even Oprah Winfrey was fired from her last TV job. 
There are so many inspiring stories of individuals that have strived to fight against their failures and obstacles they faced. Lastly, I realize that in, as individuals, we should take time to fully enjoy the present and not only pay attention to the future. We can get so caught up wanting to plan every part of our lives down to a microscopic level that we do not get to enjoy who we are in the moment. Looking forward to our future is great, but we need to decide who we want to be in the present as well. You are a Charter Academy, class of 2020. I want to leave you with a few closing remarks. We are all still so young and we do not have to have our whole lives planned. Remember that every day we have been given is a blessing and we should do everything in our power to make the best of it. Life is so much more than trying to be a perfect individual with a large amount of money and a huge house. Always make sure to put time into your family, friendships, and relationships you have with people. At the end of the day, people will not remember you for your successes. Instead, they will remember your character and the memories they shared with you. You are a Charter Academy, class of 2020. I wish us all of the best of luck as we enter our adult lives. Thank you. Graduating seniors, family, faculty, friends, members of the board, welcome to this unconventional commencement for the class of 2020. I've been given the immense honor to speak by this graduating class. I want to start off by saying how proud I am of each and every one of you. Our time together, your senior year was cut short, but just know that we're also excited to see what the next chapter takes you. This graduation marks three and a half years teaching English here at UCA. Seniors, your decision to have me speak means more than I think you could ever truly know. But I'm just a tiny moving part in this machine made up of all your teachers, admin, and staff that I work with every day. My goal in writing this speech was to give you what I believe is a communion of all our ideas and beliefs ideas that have helped me in my short time here on earth. To say that we live in times of uncertainty and anxiety would be a true understatement. We wonder if the human spirit can endure such stress, anxiety, as we venture into the unknown. With that, I would like to talk to you all about bravery. I define bravery as an overcoming, a defeating of fear, and it takes on many forms. I'd like to talk about three of those today. To start with something near and true to all of our hearts in this current moment, I want to talk about bravery in the community. How are we lifting up our fellow man? This love that binds us, are we bold enough to, def to defend it? In the face of danger, ridicule, and isolation, a dear friend of mine always challenges me with this question, a question I think we should all ask ourselves daily. Are you willing to fight for someone you don't know? I know that each of you are courageous enough to say yes. Yes, I am. Bravery is loving your neighbor. Bravery is amplifying the cries of the voiceless and the unheard. Wherever you find yourself after today, your job, your family, your city, your community, I hope that you'll be that light illuminating into dark spaces. Secondly, the bravery to create. Fear will tell you that you can offer nothing new to this tired world, but fear is wrong. Fear will also tell you that you don't have what it takes to make anything that will make people think or be given hope by. That voice can be crippling, but I'm here to tell you that we need your voices and perspectives, class of 2020. You are all artists, you are all creative. You have infinity at your fingertips. So go create, go do, make glorious mistakes. Creating keeps us anchored and it sparks the embers of our souls. Lastly, the type of bravery that I believe is the hardest to muster is the bravery of self-care, the bravery of loving yourself. After today, you will be entering into adulthood, a maze of commitments, responsibilities, bills, conflicts, and the hardest truths of this life. 
I want you all to enter this brave new world in your lives with confidence, with health of mind, body, and spirit. Our impulse is to be complacent, but I'm telling you that a life lived audaciously, without fear, is a good one. So take care of yourself, invest in your own well-being, seize the day, and be the architect of your own destiny. I want to end with a poem. Seniors, this will not be on Google Classroom, and you do not have to annotate it this time. This is an excerpt of my favorite poem by Wallace Stevens, who wrote this about the destiny of man, about our need to seize the day and live our truest lives. What was the ointment sprinkled on my beard? What were the hymns that buzzed beside my ears? What was the sea whose tide swept me there? Out of my mind the golden ointment rained and my ears made the blowing hymns that they heard. I was myself the compass of that sea. I was the world in which I walked and what I saw. Seniors, again, we are so proud of you. Go forth, be bold, and don't lose the spark. Thank you. At this time, we will honor the class of 2020 with the presentation of diplomas. Austin Curtis Albright. <laughs> Abigail Renee Alderman. <laughs> Andrew Joseph Aldrich. Katie Elizabeth Allen. Jacob Ryder Allred. Brandon Alexis Ariaga Tenorio. Jacob Jameson Ashworth. Jonathan Brian Baldwin. Ryan Andrew Ball. Michael Gage Beal. <laughs> Ashlyn Faith Beaver. Morgan Faye Beeson. Ashley Vanessa Benitez Cross. <laughs> Haven Christine Burbaum. Jaime <laughs> Bernal. Savannah Mackenzie Lynn Bice. Faith Ashley Blevins.
Zeta Lexus Bowman. Matthew Connor Brewer. Jack Lemoyne Brightbill. Rayana Irene Brown. Faith Victoria Burgess. Madeline Grace Calica. Rose Lynn Catherwood. Colton Reed Christian. Haven Reese Clemens. Hannah Marie Coffee. Bryson Scott Cox. Seth Kelton Cox. Wesley Shane Craven. Zane Allen Crumpler. <laughs> Valedictorian Hope Olivia Davis. <laughs> Anthony Alexander Del Vecchio. Abigail Deming. Anna Abigail Diaz. Savannah Lee Duty. Madison Michaela Foise. Hunter Foley. Taylor Mackenzie Fordham. Emma Marie Fowler. Cody William for sure. Brandon Scott Fry.
Ashley Elizabeth Guerin. Carolina Gonzalez Gutierrez. Autumn Gracie Nicole Hall. Bryson Douglas Hamlet. Hagen Gabrielle Haynes. Brittany Nicole Peggy. Kaylin Ryan Keel. Thomas Dwayne Hill. Josh Holland. Nicholas Honeycutt. Gabriel Dean Hopkins. Nicholas Glenn Powell. Rissa May Hughes. Allison Emily Hughes. Ashley Ann Hughes. Cole Scott Jackson. Andreas Oliver Jarvis. Jerry Uriel Jimenez. Micah Lee Johnson. Hannah Elizabeth Johnson. Donald Lee Johnson III. Mackenzie Ann Kearns. Jacob Daniel Kidd. King.
Grace Alden Cole. Caitlin Ann Lamb. Taylor Elise Ledbetter. Mia Brooke Leonard. Emily Carol Bell Leonard. Lillian Rose Lopez. Christian Santos Lopez. Andre Dion Lowry. Killian Luckenbach. Kenzie Page Martin. Macy Lee McBride. Cadence Ariana McCaskill. Salutatorian William Garrett McCullum. Addison Grace McGee. Logan Wayne McMasters. Kimberly Morgan Muro. Zachary Hunter Neal. Dylan Michael New. Zaya Alina Parson. Michael Christian Parson. Mackenzie Hope Patrick. Lily. Katherine Patterson. Robert Al Pearson. William Lawrence Poole.
Caitlin Savannah Potts. Madison Ray Rich. Megan Nicole Ritter. William Samuel Ritter. Elijah Warren Robbins. Emma Catherine Rogers. Sergio Trashado Saldana. Colin Jacob Saunders. Nathan Dylan Saunders. Diane Autumn Scott. Darnay Schubert III. Sierra Rain Simmons. Holden Christopher Simmons. Samantha Nicole Smith. Taylor Cheyenne Smith. Haley Morgan Solomon. Mackenzie Margaret Swift. Reagan Diane Thomas. Bronwyn Elise Tilly. <laughs> Olivia Marie Tomlin. <laughs> Caroline Rose Trotter. Joshua Dale Tyree. Jacob Brian Underwood. Angel Gabriel Venegas. Zachary Thomas Barner.
Daniel Andres Velasquez. Naomi Villa Gomez Zintella. Camden Alexander Walker. Bethany Dawn Witcher. Colin James Willard. Kenna V. Williams. Nashad O'Neill Williams. Dean Alexander Williams, Jr. Haley Nicole Williamson Angelique Tanette Young Congratulations, graduates and class of 2020. The day is finally here. Most of you began your journey here at UCA in eighth grade during the first year of our middle school. On the last day of school at the eighth grade celebration, I shared some words of wisdom with you. I thought it might be fitting to share those same words with you again, just to make sure that you didn't forget them. So here goes. I'll start with a story. When I started my first day of kindergarten, my grandpa drove me to school and checked me in. And before he left, he said these words to me. He said, boy, learn something. It wasn't until much later in life that I realized the value of those words. You see, my grandpa was not a college graduate. He was not a high school graduate. He was not even a middle school graduate. He didn't make it to where you sit today. He quit school during his eighth grade year to become a lumberjack to help provide for his family. You see, my grandpa offered me the best words he could on that day. He didn't give me some cliche, cliche response like, reach for the stars or go get them, tiger. You see, that would have meant nothing to me, a kindergartner. But instead, he gave me in its simplest form and most convenient definition, a life lesson, a path, if you will, that I would follow for the rest of my life. He didn't just give me those words to send me on my way, but rather to teach me that every single day that the good Lord grants us is a day that we have an opportunity to learn something about life, about the world around us, but more importantly, about ourselves. So here it is. Here's what I've learned since that day. I've learned to make the most of every day. Carpe diem is a Latin phrase that simply means seize the day. As you continue on in life, I want you to seize each and every day. Don't just randomly exist, but live each day to the fullest. 
The days that you have been given on this earth were not simply meant to be endured or tolerated. They were meant to be seized. Your job is to keep on asking questions and to keep on making mistakes. Don't waste your time and energy focusing on your disadvantages, but instead focus on your advantages. Don't lose precious seconds pointing out the problems. Instead, start becoming part of the solution. Seize the day. Don't continue on in immaturity by repeating the past. Instead, grow up and start creating a future for yourself. Expand your horizons and accumulate experiences. Enjoy the journey. Find every excuse you can to celebrate everything you can. Don't foolishly squander away time trying to be something that you're not. Never, and I mean never, let fear dictate your decisions. Instead, take a flying leap of faith and seize the day. Stop playing not to lose and start playing to win. And never take the easy way out. Don't simply exist to make a living, but live to make a life. Never make excuses for why you can't do something and start acting like you can. Be more afraid of missing an opportunity than making a mistake. Dare to dream the unthinkable and attempt the impossible. Don't just sit back and wait for something to happen. Have the guts to go make something happen. Seize the day. You were created to blaze new trails. So never live in fear of what each day will bring and start living by faith. Cast the vision for your life. Set God-sized goals. Pursue God-ordained passions. Go after a dream that's destined to fail without God's holy intervention. Graduates, seize the day. Your high school learning will be over after today. How will you take on and face tomorrow? What will you learn from it? Will you lackadaisically go through the motions and waste it, or will you seize it? My advice is that when tomorrow comes, you wrap your arms around it and squeeze every ounce of learning and experience you can out of it before it passes away. Destinies and legacies are both made up of the same thing. Number of days. What will you do with yours? What will it teach you? You see, my advice is simple. Learn something. President Theodore Roosevelt stated, it is not the critic who counts, not the man who points out how the strong man stumbles or where the doer of deeds could have done them better. The credit belongs to the man who is actually in the arena, whose face is marred by dust and sweat and blood, who strives valiantly, who errs, who comes up short again and again because there is no effort without error and shortcoming. But who does actually strive to do the deeds? Who knows great enthusiasms, the great devotions, who spends himself in a worthy cause, and who at the best knows, in the end, the triumph of high achievement, and who at worst, if he fails, at least fails while daring greatly, so that his place shall never be with those cold and timid souls who neither know victory nor defeat. Graduates, listen to me. Don't you dare watch life haphazardly from the sidelines. Don't leave your days to chance. Yes, there will be failures, but out of those failures, greatness will be born. Remember, a person with an experience owes nothing to a person with an opinion. Be the man in the arena. Never be counted with those cold and timid souls that neither know victory nor defeat. Sink your heels in. Get your hands dirty. Live it. Breathe it. Experience all that life has to offer you. Earn your keep. Go now, graduates, and seize the day. Class of 2020, we love you. And no matter where life takes you, never ever forget who you are and whose you are. May God richly bless you in all that you do. Congratulations. Class of 2020, on behalf of the North Carolina State Board of Education, the North Carolina Department of Public Instruction, and URA Charter Academy's Board of Directors, it is my distinct honor to pronounce you as URA Charter Academy's graduated class of 2020.
Congratulations, graduates.